Hello, my name is Drill Sergeant Leader Cavezza from the United States Army Drill Sergeant School. My demonstrator for today will be Drill Sergeant Leader Hernandez, also representing the United States Army Drill Sergeant School. Today we will give you a block of instruction on some basic drill and ceremony movements that are executed by soldiers in today's Army. All movements and commands can be referenced in FM 3-21.5. The position of attention. The position of attention is the key position for all stationary facing and marching movements. The commands for this position are fall and attention. Fall is used to assemble troops to its original configuration. Attention is used to reassemble, reassemble troops when they are at any of the rest positions. These commands are as follows. Fall in! Demonstrator, attention! On the command fall in, on the command and execution attention of demonstrator attention. My demonstrator will bring both his sharply together on line. Both toes will be pointing out at a 45 degree angle. He will rest the weight of the body evenly on the heels and the balls of both feet. Keep the legs straight without locking the knees. Hold the body erect, hips level, the chest will be lifted and arched, and the shoulders will be squared. Keep the head and eyes straight to the front, with the chin drawn in so that the alignment of the head and neck is vertical. Let the arms hang straight without stiffness. Curl the fingers so that the tips of the thumbs are alongside and touching the first joint of the fourth finger. Keep the thumbs alongside the trousers with the first joint of the fingers touching the trouser leg. Remain silent and do not move unless otherwise directed. Enlisted soldiers assume this position when they are addressing officers or when officers are addressing officers superior of rank. At normal cadence, the movement's commands will look as follows. Relax. Forward. Relax. Demonstrator. Attention. At ease. The rest positions at the halt. The rest positions at the halt are used to rest an element for short periods of time while at the halt. The commands for these movements are parade rest, stand at ease, at ease and rest. Parade rest and stand at ease are both two-part commands, with parade and stand at being the preparatory commands, and rest and ease are the commands of execution. At ease and rest are combined commands. When given, these commands are as follows. Parade, rest, stand at ease, at ease, rest. Any of the rest positions may be commanded and executed while at the position of attention. Parade rest can only be commanded from the position of attention. On the command execution rest, a parade rest, you're going to move that left foot 10 inches to the left of the right foot. Keep the legs straight without locking the knees and rest the weight of the body evenly on the balls and heels of both feet. Simultaneously, you're going to place the hands at the small of the back center on the belt with the fingers extended and joined with the thumbs interlaced. For demonstration purposes only, I will have my demonstrator turn around so you can see the proper placement of the hands on the belt line. The head and eyes will remain as in the position of attention. Remain silent and do not move unless otherwise directed. Stand at ease, at ease and rest may be executed from this position. Enlisted soldiers will assume this position when addressing all non-commissioned officers or when non-commissioned officers are addressing non-commissioned officers in superior rank. On the command execution ease of stand at ease, my demonstrator will execute parade rest as previously described, except his head and eyes will turn and follow the person in charge of the formation or the primary instructor. At ease and rest may be executed from this position. On the command at ease, the soldier may move. However, he must remain standing and silent with that right foot in place. The soldier may relax his arms. However, the thumbs must remain interlaced. Rest may be executed from this position. On the command at rest, the soldier may move, talk, smoke, or drink, unless otherwise directed. However, he must remain standing with that right foot in place. At ease may be executed from this position. On the preparatory command for attention, immediately assume parade rest when at the position of stand at ease, at ease, or rest. If for some reason a subordinate element is already at attention, the members of that element will remain so and do not execute parade rest on the preparatory command, nor does the subordinate leader give the supplementary command. 
At normal cadence, these movements and commands will look as follows. Demonstrator, attention! Parade, rest! Stand at ease! At ease! Rest! Demonstrator, attention! At ease! The hand salute is used to render courtesies to individuals, the nation, and the flag. The commands for these movements are present arms and order arms. Present arms and order arms are both two-part commands, with present and order being the preparatory commands, and arms is the command execution. When given, these commands are as follows. Present arms! Order arms! The hand salute is a one-count movement. When wearing headgear with a visor, with or without glasses, on the command execution arms, or present arms, you will raise the right hand sharply with the fingers and thumbs extended and joined, palm facing towards the ground. And you will place the tip of the right forefinger on the rim of the visor slightly to the right of the right eye. The hand and wrist are straight. The outer edge of the hand is barely canted downward so that neither the back of the hand nor the palm is clearly visible from the front. The elbow will be inclined slightly forward and the upper arm is horizontal to the ground. Order arms is a one count movement. On the command execution arms of order arms, you will sharply return that right hand to the right side, resuming the position of attention. Remove your headgear. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered and wearing glasses, on the command execution arms or present arms, you will execute the hand salute as previously described except you will place the tip of the right forefinger to that place on the glasses where the temple piece of the frame meets the outer edge of the right brow. Order arms is executed as previously described. Remove your glasses. When wearing headgear without a visor or uncovered and not wearing glasses on the command execution arms or present arms, you will execute the hand salute as previously described, except Place the tip of the right forefinger near and slight to the right of the right eyebrow. Order arms is executed as previously described. When reporting or rendering courtesy to an individual, you will turn your head and eyes towards the person and salute. In this situation, the commands are executed without command. The hand salute is initiated by the subordinate and terminated upon proper acknowledgement. The hand salute may be executed while double timing. However, the person in charge of that formation must assume a quick time, then salute. At normal cadence, the following movements and commands will look as follows. Present arms! Order arms! Replace your glasses. Present arms! Order arms! Replace your headgear. Present arms! Order arms! At ease! Facing to the right flank. Facing to the right flank is used to face all members of an element 90 degrees to the right. The commands for this movement are right face. Right face is a two-part command, with right being the preparatory command, and face is the command of execution. When given, these commands are as follows. Right face! Facing to the right flank is a two-count movement. On the command of execution face of right face, this being count one, you will slightly raise the right toe and left heel and pivot 90 degrees to the right on the heel of the right foot, assisted by a slight pressure in the ball of the left foot. Throughout this movement, the right leg will stay straight without stiffness, and you will allow the left leg to bend naturally. The arms will remain at the sides at the position of attention, and throughout this movement, they will not swing. Right, face! On count two, you're going to bring that trail leg alongside that lead foot, resuming the position of attention, thus terminating this movement. Ready, two! Right, face! Ready, two! Without the numbers, at normal cadence, the commands and movements will look as follows. Right, face! Right, face! 
brakes. Facing to the left flank. Facing to the left flank is used to face all members of an element 90 degrees to the left. The commands for these movements are left face. Left face is a two-part command with left being the preparatory command and face is the command execution. When given, these commands are as follows. Left face! Facing to the left flank is a two-count movement. On the command and execution face of left face, this being count one, you will slightly raise the left toe and right heel and pivot 90 degrees to the left on the heel of the left foot, assisted by a slight pressure in the ball of the right foot. Throughout this movement, that right leg must remain straight without stiffness, allowing the left leg to bend naturally. The arms will remain at the sides as in the position of attention and will not swing throughout this movement. Left face! On count two, you bring that trail foot alongside that lead foot, resuming the position of attention. Ready, two! Left face! Ready, two! Without the numbers and at normal cadence, the commands and movements will look as follows. Left face! Left face! The last and final facing movement will be facing to the rear. Facing to the rear is used to face all members of an element 180 degrees to the rear from the halt. The commands for this movement are about face. About face is a two part command with about being the preparatory command and face is the command execution. When given these commands are as follows. About face. Facing to the rear is a two count movement. On the command and execution face of about face, this being count one, you will slightly raise the right foot and place the toe of the right foot slightly to the left of the left foot. About face. On count two, you will turn 180 degrees to the rear on the toe of the right foot and the heel of the left foot. Throughout this movement, the arms must remain at the sides as in the position of attention. When you completed this movement, you will be at the position of attention, thus terminating this movement. Ready, two. About face. Ready, two. Now without the numbers, at normal cadence, the commands and movements will look as follows. About face! About face! Out of